OK, uh, so starting from this week, uh, each week we will introduce one or two types of the machine learning models. So the most commonly used machine learning models. So this week we will talk about the logistic regression model. Uh, it is called regression model, but this is for classification. OK, so this is for classification model. And also we will talk about the support vector machine. Um, that one also is very popular, so uh, sometimes we call it just SVM. Okay, so that's also one of the very widely used uh, machine learning models. Okay, uh, so let's first review that types of the machine learning models. Um, so if you remember that normally there are three types of the machine learning models. So we have supervised machine learning models that we know the right answers, so we know the labels. And there are also unsupervised machine learning models, which we do not know the answers, or we don't have model, uh, we don't have labels. The third one is called reinforcement learning, so reinforcement learning, and which we will not introduce uh, in this class. Uh, just let you know that we do have the third type of the machine learning models. And uh, for the supervised machine learning models, so depending on their target or their labels, so if those are categorical data, and that is called classification. And if the target are the numbers, and that is called the regression model. And for unsupervised learning, so the most common type is called clustering. OK, so those are the different type of the machine learning models. We have already learned two types of the regression, so simple linear regression and also a linear regression model. So actually, that is just one type of the re linear regression model, uh, just depending on how many uh, independent um, variables you have. So if there's just one, it is called simple linear regression. If there are multiple variables, that is called linear regression model. Uh, we also mentioned the regularization, so that is a way that we can add penalties so that we can make the model to be less complicated um, uh, and so that the overfit, so the difference between of the accuracy between the training and also the testing will be smaller so that we will not have an overfit models. Okay, so regression is that the goal is to predict a continuous number. And classification is to, to predict uh, a label, so class labels. OK, um, so why we cannot use simple linear regression model in classification? OK, so why we cannot use uh, regression models for classification? So. Let's see one example. Let's see that here we are going to use OLS, so ordinary least square in the, in the classification. So for example, here we are going to predict the house types based on the price and also house age. So house age, this is the year that house being built. OK, so I just call it house ages. Um, the house types, so it can be a single family home or it can be a not non-single family home. Okay, so there are two types. So one indicate that it is a single family house and the zero indicate it is not a single family house. So here you can see we have only two types. So yes, that is single family or no, that is not a single family home. And if we put that one on the uh, chart, here we are using a scatter plot. So we can see the price and also year the house being built. Uh, so here I, I normalized uh, the house being built and also year so that uh, so the smallest one is zero and uh, the biggest one is one. OK, and for the price, it is same. So the smallest is zero. The biggest is one. OK, so I normalized the price and also year. Um, and now we can see that there is a clearly a boundary that if the house is um, built in recent years and also is uh, expensive, it is um, 
oh sorry it is and is not expensive uh, it is highly likely that it's not a single family home okay because single family house normally are expensive so if the house is built in recent years but not expensive and that will be a non single family home so in this case the zeros will be zeros the label will be zero and if they are built in the in the past few years and also the house price are, are lower or if they are built in recent years and also the price are higher so uh, and in that case they are single family houses and the label is one okay so let's say that if we are using the linear regression model to for the classification so what problems are we going to have so here let's say that the house type will be our dependent variable so house type either will be zero or will be one and we bring that one to our uh, uh, linear regression model so we see that uh, age the year that has been built and also price okay so those will be the betas and that will be alpha okay and the res the output will be either zero or one okay so technically we can do that so technically we can use uh, uh, a linear regression model to do the classification so we can just uh, give different labels a number okay and next we just bring the models to the uh, to our data so for example in this case our table will be look like that if if that is a single family home the label will be one if that is uh, not a single family home the label will be zero and we have the uh, price and we have the year the house being built like the year is 2000 uh, the price is 300,000 okay and something like that okay so we can bring those data into our um, linear regression models and we can calculate uh, the alpha and the betas by using OLS or by using the other type of the uh, methods like the gradient descent um, uh, method to estimate the best alpha and the betas so why we cannot do that okay why so the problems of using OLS or using regression models in classification and the first uh, reason is that the outputs can be huge positive or can be huge negative which is hard to interpret so if you remember that the possible output can only be zero or one one means that single family home and also zero means non single family home however if I are using the regression model linear regression model the predict result can be something that uh, from 0.5 all into 2 okay so now how can you interpret the result so for example if you have a house that is one and if the house that predict value is two so both are all single family homes so but how can you explain that uh, the the predict value is two so is that <laughs> um, more single than the predict value than one okay so that does not make sense and some cases if you have negative values you you can have negative values so for example if you have negative value which is two so how do you uh, and explain that result so is that two non-single family home so it is very hard to interpret the result so that is the number one reason and the number two reason is that uh, if we are use if we use simple uh, linear regression model in classification that will violate those three assumptions that we mentioned especially for example it will violate the assumption that the errors should be normally distributed so if you remember that in the linear regression models there are three assumptions okay so uh, the independent variables should be not highly correlated and also uh, the errors should be 
uh, normally distri distributed, and also the relationship between dependent variables and also independent variables should follow a linear relationship. So those are the three assumptions. However, if we look at the errors that we predicted by using the OLS, we can see that the error is not normally distributed. So if the error are normally should, if the errors are normally distributed, it should look like this one. So it's a bell curve. But here it is. So it violate the assumption that uh, errors should be normally distrib distributed. So that is why that we cannot use linear regression models or OLS for classifications.